In the previous episode of the series, we spent a night with professional crabbers Alex and Mullet. We did some night fishing, catching some cod and barramundi, then feasted on some mud crab for dinner. We joined part three of the series early in the morning, about to head out fishing in some windy conditions. Good buddy. Good buddy. Right, we're going to poke out the front and see what the weather's like. Maybe see if we can catch a fish or two. The boys have got a bit of work to do. And uh, we'll catch up with them later on this afternoon. to put up with some annoying wind noise in this little fishing session. For me it wouldn't be a trip to the Gulf unless it was blowing 30 knots. Well for me it wouldn't be a trip to the Gulf unless it was blowing 30 knots as per usual. <laughs> Ash the skipper is just sounding around looking for a good spot with a nice looking bottom. I'm gonna drop some baits down. And pretty much straight away Ash hooks up to a nice blue threadfin salmon. I'm getting hits again. Yep. Ash is on. Baby. Little baby something. That's all good. Um, what is it? Um, oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So we get two types of salmon here. That's the blue thread fin, and we also get. <laughs> so we get two types of salmon here. We get the blue thread fin. <laughs> this one. Yeah, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say is we catch blue threadfin salmon and king threadfin salmon in this area. Oh, a little, little bit bigger blue salmon, mate. A little bit bigger. Oh, hell yeah, that's heaps bigger. Not a bad feed if you're hungry, eh? Yeah, hell yeah. Not a bad eating fish. Awesome. Maybe not my favourite, but... I've got the puniest little fish in the world. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what a little legend. Oh, let's get him back. Oh, that feels better. That feels better. He's zipping around. That fish. You reckon? Blue thread fin. Hey, go hard, eh? Blue salmon. Yep, blue salmon froggy. Yes, froggy, nice. What do we got here? New species, Grunter. Here's the little baby Grunter. Another species off the list. It must be five or six species we've got so far. <laughs> Trickle, triple hook ups. <laughs> oh, not very good though. We've got the fat fish, the tea leaf trevally, and a baby tricky snapper. Far out, we're in the nursery. I reckon we should move up to another spot and see if we can find some bigger fish. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> we have one last stop on the way home when I hook up to the fish of the day. What we got here? Goldie! Good Goldie! Goldie. Lift! Yes! Lift. Very nice, Goldie! That'd near be a PB for me, eh? Seriously. We're out of the nursery, we've pulled up here. Within eight seconds, I had first drop. <laughs> Man, that is a nice Goldie. That is one of the best eating fish you'll find, eh? 50, pretty much on the dot, 50. 50 centimetre, half a metre fish, man. 
what's your the best part of the trip so far you reckon mate? Oh so far, I don't know, last night was pretty enjoyable. Yeah, yeah Although, the Crabber Shacks. A bit disappointed you didn't make them flash drinks you're gonna make. Yeah look mate. <laughs> <laughs> we might see an appearance of the pina colada tonight. <laughs> Back from our quick little morning fishing adventure down here at the Crabber Shacks. Um, just finished packing up our stuff. Pretty much all sorted out, just refueling the boat here. And we're gonna head over to North Island, out to Waibi Fishing and Wilderness Lodge. You've seen us out there before. We're gonna go spend a couple of nights out there and it is just freaking beautiful out there. Can't wait to show you. Now Waibi Lodge has its name because it's located on Waibi Point on North Island. It's important that we acknowledge the traditional owners of this land and pay our respects to the elders, past and present. Recently, Waibi was visited by Linda and Stephanie, who are owners out here at Waibi and have a special connection to it. They were very proud of what Brett has achieved here and happy that this special place is in good hands. Has there been any amazingness? Other than that crocodile, is there? Yeah, that's pretty standard for you, though. <laughs> So I've still got a few more of the boys coming. Uh, three more boats should be rocking up soon. Shoot. Just heard on the radio, we've got a few more boys rocking up shortly. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for them. We should have some uh, nice cold drink ready for them. Living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste, buddy? Hey, beautiful. Tropical island paradise. Sipping cocktails. Golden sands of Weeby. The golden yeah. sands of Weeby. <laughs> hey, is that them boys coming down the river now? Yeah, just around the bend, mate. Yeah, looks like yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. You know what time it is. It's time to get the drone up for the boys' arrival. I'll also throw in some shots I got earlier in the day to give you an idea of how spectacular this place is. So now that everyone's arrived, we have a chance to unwind and make plans for fishing tomorrow. I get put in charge of slicing the steak for dinner. Wagyu rump marble score six to seven. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, so we've got a little bit left over here. We're gonna save that for tomorrow night. We've got some good sized steaks come off it, which we're gonna enjoy. We've got some little vegetarian ones as well. Question, what do you get when you mix together a group of blokes after midnight that have been drinking all day on a secluded island? I'll tell you what you get.
the first annual Golf Arm Wrestling Championship. <laughs> I've got about two hours of footage of arm wrestling, so I'm just going to give you the short version. From what I can tell from the footage, there remain two blokes undefeated on the night. The two heavyweights, me and Ash. No way! Anyway, at who knows what time, we start winding down, ready for a big day tomorrow. Coming soon in part four of the series, we braved some rough conditions, but still managed to land some great fish. Then we head back into town to meet up with the crabbers again. We cook up some of our catch, then spend the evening celebrating a great week in the Gulf.